Karen Brady has criticized Rishi Sunak's ridiculous decision to prevent King Charles from attending the COP27 climate conference. Karen Brady, 53, blasted the new Prime Minister's decision to block King Charles from attending the COP27 climate conference. Rishi Sunak, 42, sparked backlash for deciding not to attend the event and has faced calls to allow the monarch to attend instead. Now, The Apprentice star became the latest well-known face to call out the PM on his decision. Which she branded as ridiculous. Karen cited the alarming United Nations UN, report on climate change, which warns about the rise in global temperatures, as a wake-up call, for leaders across, in her latest column for The Sun. She said, I know that Rishi Sunak has a lot to do and cannot attend the COP27 climate talks, so why not let King Charles go instead? Rishi is following Liz Truss's decision and blocking the king, who is apparently, champing at the bit, to attend, which seems ridiculous to me. The TV star added, our monarch understands the problem, cares about it passionately, and will have more impact on creating action from governments around the world than any member of parliament will. King Charles is currently set to follow Rishi's advice that he should skip the event, although the environment secretary, Therese Coffey, suggested on Thursday that it was up to the monarch if he attended the conference. Former Prime Minister Liz Truss had originally advised His Majesty to stay away from the conference because she wanted to use his first foreign trip for diplomatic leverage with nations such as Canada. A Downing Street spokeswoman confirmed on Thursday that the government had advised the monarch to stay away from the summit. She said, as is standard practice. Government advice was sought and provided under a previous PM, and it was unanimously agreed it would not be the right occasion for the king to visit. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer called on Rishi to show leadership by attending the event to promote unity among world leaders. He said, many people would be expecting a Prime Minister of the UK not just to attend but to use it as an opportunity to pull world leaders together to deal with climate.